Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team. Today we're out of the Foxton into our test lab, our test area. As you can see, we had a lot of stuff going on behind us. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of our matrixes. This is our BGUM 88 ANS. This is an eight by eight matrix. That means eight inputs to eight outputs and you can matrix it all. Has a lot of great control options. You have the remote, it's a really simple remote. You put your output to your input and it just switches and it makes it really simple. Uh, but if you're looking to control it over the web, you can do that as well. If this has a LAN connection, you can uh, put it onto a local network or pl plug it into your, your switch and just turn on DHCP and it connects to your local network and you can jump into the web GUI and control it from there. And lastly, if someone's looking for serial control, they could do that as well over RS-232 connection. If you want to send commands, you're good as well. Has some audio options as well. If you're looking to extract that audio, de-embed that audio, it has eight digital coax outputs. So depending on where the audio is you can extract that from that output uh, so it's a great unit to uh, for matrixing if you're looking to matrix up to eight inputs to eight outputs and today we're going to be doing just a little demonstration we have it hooked up behind me obviously as you can see we have multiple sources xboxes and playstations and chromecasts and uh, everything in between uh, so let's go ahead and dive in first thing you want to do obviously is plug it in and power it up so we did that as you can see it's, it's powered up we took eight of our sources plugged them into the inputs one through eight and then we connected to eight out of our nine tvs this tv is not broken we just have eight. there's nine tvs eight eight outputs so you do, you do the math um, and so there you go and today we're going to show you how to connect it to your local network we have it already connected to a network switch we already ran a cat cable to our local network connected just go to the front of the unit and just double check your ip address because dhcp is on out of the box so that's option number five uh, view ip and it is on our local network, DHCP on 192.168.30.87. That is on our local network. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and connect to that so we can start controlling. Let's go ahead and put our IP address in, 192.168.30.87. I'm connected, I'm connected wirelessly to our local network. Um, so I'm able to jump in. And as you can see, green is good. Green means go. Um, so everything's connected. That is uh, looking good. We got eight inputs, eight outputs. Number one, let's turn off that uh, that beep. That's really loud beep. Um, all right, moving on to the next tab. We have our matrix, and uh, this is a great way just to switch up. Um, you know, do your matrixing. So. Um, as you can see, it's already been played around with. I have input input eight going to um, output one. So I'm actually going to just uh, flip it all around. Put one to one. Two to two, you can see him switching on the screen. Three to three, four to four, meaning input four is going to output four. Five, six, seven, eight. So it actually switches pretty quick, as you can see. Um, and that's how easy switching is. As you can see, it does say uh, A, B, C, D, so they, they just have the letters and numbers just to keep it even more uh, simple. Uh, next tab is our EDID. If you're looking to adjust uh, your EDID there, just align your resolutions. I have a lot of options there for each to output or input to output, excuse me. And then lastly, uh, you have your network. As you can see, DHCP is on. If you're looking to uh, assign to a static IP, you can do that as well. Uh, I like to put it on DHCP and then change it to static uh, so you know it won't change. If you remove it, you know exactly what, uh, what static IP it would always be. And then if you're looking to upgrade, um, you can do that as well. That's how simple this unit is. Um, so if I wanna go back to the matrix area, doing some thinking and then let's say if I want all of number input two, what's number two? Oh, it's our, it's our movie. Hallelujah. BZB gear. Here we go. So let's say if I have all these screens, uh, spread out, not just on a one wall, but if you're like in a hotel sports bar or any sort of big conference area or a, uh, even a like maybe a hospital or anything, if you're looking to show the same exact image on all your eight TVs, you can do that pretty easily as well. But if you want to switch up your inputs, you could do that as well. Also, even a better option, if you're looking to put all the same input on all the same outputs, you can actually use the remote. There's an all button. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll hit all. Let's do one, all one. 
So and they all switch, so you don't have to switch each one individually. You can put them all on the same input. Well, there you have it, GearHeads, another great product from BZB Gear, one of our matrix that we offer, eight inputs to eight outputs. Uh, you can use this in sports bars, in hospitals, hotels. We have multiple displays if you want to constantly change up your inputs you can do that with this unit you're looking to extract audio we got you covered looks looking to control over the network got you covered as well as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at the sales team or here at tech support or leave them in the comments below obviously we'll get back to you as soon as we can love to hear any feedback or any questions that you may have don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out and as always have a great day